Hey everyone, welcome back. So let's go ahead and try some of these um, indefinite integrals um, using these basic rules from up here. So anytime you have a polynomial or something that kind of looks like one, you're basically just reversing uh, the power rule, uh, which is gonna be done from uh, this guy right here. So when you use the power rule, it says pull the power down and multiply it to the front and you're gonna decrease the power by one. So we have to reverse that. So if you reverse the power rule, instead of decreasing by one, you're gonna increase by one. So the exponent is gonna go from six to seven. And with the derivative, when you pulled it down, it gets multiplied. Well, what's the reverse of multiplication? Division. So you're gonna divide by whatever this new exponent is. And then tack on your plus c. So x to the seventh over seven uh, plus c. Or if you wanted, you could also write it as one seventh x to the seventh uh, plus c. E either one is totally fine. Okay, so if we did the same thing with this one, you gotta increase the power by one. Divide by the new exponent of the nine plus C. Okay, so then this one, six X to the fifth, the six, that's just your constant. So just like derivatives, it doesn't really do anything. So just leave it alone. We'll increase the power by one, divided by the new exponent in your plus C and then simplify your fraction and a lot of you are going to be able to do this in your head so you can jump right from here straight to an answer that's totally fine I don't need to see uh, this if you don't need to put it in there okay so let's try a few more so this one before we do anything to it just like with derivatives we have to rewrite it So we'll change it to x to the negative two. That way it's fitting this power rule that says it has to be x to the n. It's not in a denominator, it's not in a radical, it's just x. Okay, so do the same thing. Increase it by one, and then divide by the new exponent, plus c, and then we can simplify it. So that would be negative, and then I'm also gonna flip it down. So negative one over x, plus C. Okay, let's go ahead and try example F. It's a little bit different, because now you've got three terms in there. Well, guess what you get to do? You get to just do each individual one, just like derivatives. So if you took the indefinite integral of this first term, that's just gonna be X to the fourth, For 6x squared, that will be 2x to the third. And then whose derivative is going to be negative 1? Well, that would have to be negative x plus c. All right. This one's a little interesting, too, because sometimes this trips people up. Um, you're integrating just a constant. So remember that this is the derivative of something. So three is the derivative of three t and then plus c. So how do I know it's a t there instead of an x? Well, because it says dt. So this right here, remember that's your variable of integration. So that's the variable that's gonna be in your, uh, in your answer. And yes, if you switch it into x, that would be incorrect. Okay, so let's try that one. Integral of t squared. That would be, we'll change it, different, change it to a different format. So just one third t to the third. So you can see both ways like this or like uh, this. It's one third t to the third. And then the integral of negative sine t. So whose derivative is negative sine? 
positive cosine. And then this last one here, the integral of theta to the sixth, one seventh theta to the seventh, and the integral of secant squared is tangent plus c. Okay, so that'll do it for this video, uh, and then we'll continue in the next one.